My name is Bjarne Decker and I'm responsible for the computer science laboratory. And after many experiments, we decided that we had to move from conventional high-level languages such as uh, Ada, Chill, C++, etc., into the world of declarative programming. We also found out that the only way to do that, that was to develop our own language. Declarative programming languages have several advantages over traditional languages. For example, what we see here is a symbolic trace of the communications to and from the number analyzer. It first received the message analyze one. Programs in such languages are considerably shorter than the equivalent programs in imperative languages. Here, for example, is a program in C. And here is the equivalent program in Erlang. They also encourage clear programming styles. For example, an object-oriented programming style or the implementation of an abstract data type is simple in Erlang. Up to now, declarative programming languages, such as Prolog or ML, have not been used for real-time applications. So we've had to add a notion of concurrency and real-time to our language. We have also added a sophisticated error detection mechanism. This allows us to program robust real-time systems. Declarative programming languages are, of course, also symbolic. And we'll start by showing you the symbolic nature of the language in a typical telephony application. Hello, Joe. Hello, Mike. One, six, nine. Hello, Joe. Hello. Okay, that uh, we have now made a call to Joe. Hello, Mike. Hello, Robert. Hello, Mike. Hello, Joe. Joe? Hello, Mike. Hello, Robert. Hello, Mike. Hello, Robert. Hello, Mike. Hello, Joe. Joe? Hello, Joe. Hello, Mike. Hello, Robert. Hello, Joe. Hello, Mike. Hello. Well, it worked this time. Hello, Mike. Hello, Joe. Okay, I'll finish this call. Hello, Robert. Hello, Joe. I think you managed to fix the bug then. Yes, finally. Well, now I'm going to do something which means that the system goes wrong. We are now back in the airline window and we'll load in the corrected module feature. Well, what you've seen now is that this call was totally undisturbed by the fact that we have had an error in the system in other calls, that we've reloaded parts of the system software. This call here still worked. And the interesting thing is it would have continued to work Whatever state the call was in, it could have been ringing, we could have been dialing, we could have been between dialing digits. Whatever had happened, calls in this system are completely independent in e of each other. So an error in one call will never affect error, an error in one call will never affect the correct operation of other calls. You have just seen our language airline and the telephony application which we run using airline. Programming in airline leads to at least a factor 10 improved programmer productivity. Erlang programs are concise and elegant. In fact, they are about seven times shorter than equivalent programs written in C. It's easy to write robust systems in Erlang. And of course, all this leads to very short lead times.